Greetings Virgo and welcome to your horoscope. So, um, Aquarius time is a lot about working with others, being flexible, being organized, helping others, you know, service work, charitable causes, dealing with your own personal health issues. Well, the good news is your health is going to get better, okay? So, I mean, we've got sun moving into your seventh house now. And, um, you know, Friday night seems chill, hang out with friends. The weekend is like a good week weekend to be a home buddy more. Stay at home, get your home stuff done, and um, that way uh, you'll be able to uplift, you know, those around you, what is around you. Now that the sun is in your seventh house with Neptune, it's like love is kind of like an illusion, but... You know, people that share like a religious practice, pray together, meditate together, they got a better record of staying together as couples. And so if you haven't tried that together, you might want to try that together. There's certain little things, the aesthetic, what works in the higher vibration, not just a selfish, you know, ooh, pleasure me vibration, but that one that lets us go and let go into eternal space. So it's like, it's really time for Virgo, Virgo rising people to work on healing their relationships. And yeah, I mean, there's going to be dynamite in the bedroom. You got Uranus, Mars, Venus in the eighth house. Come on. So it's, you know, but the thing is, it's other people's power. You know, it's other people's power allowing that to happen. So it's always, it's always a crazy space to be. But you have some fun this week. I mean, you know, Moon's going to be in your fifth house on, on Tuesday. And, you know, you're, you're going to, there's going to be some uplifting vibe. And, and you know, economically, things are improving for you, too. Um you know, the retrograde Jupiter actually in this particular position, Western Libra or Vedic Virgo works better that way. Mm -hmm. Trust me on this. Yeah. Yeah, I know. No, none of my Western astrology friends could, could predict the Trumpster, but almost all my Vedic astrologer friends did. So people, you know, I mean, I know only about one out of 20 of us know that, that art, the art of Jyotish, but I, I encourage my, my viewers to, to explore it, you know. I mean, yeah, most of us go one sign back. Oh, I don't want to be that sign. You know, would you just <laughs> knock it off, you know. <laughs> it ain't just the sun, folks. It's the actual constellations. They, they do have their own sway on things. And when you, that's what, this is the deep astrology. Even the Western astrologers I know that do the deep astrology, they acknowledge the actual star where it is in the sky and they do some of that stuff too so i encourage that but yeah this stuff works so we you know i still do it for you yeah so it does work um 